The roots of Australia's wine industry were planted by none other than the legendary James Busby. Picture this. It is the 1830s, an era pulsating with anticipation. At Camden Park Estate, Busby is planting a treasure trove of grapevines. These vines will be secret agents that embark on a mission establishing vineyards that will define Australian viticulture forever. Camden contributes to this nation's legacy as an example of wealth, exquisite taste and class. One thing I love about country towns is that there are always thrift shops and the renowned one is called Finney's and Camden definitely had one. So I went into Finney's and I went through all these lovely clothes, which by the way, were color coded. One specific thing about this Finney's was that the clothes were quite old, just because like the style was more like old fashion, older generation style, like clothes that for like, you know, 50 year olds, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> But I still loved and I found some stuff, tried them on. I was shopping for work because I'm starting a new job at a high school. I got that gorgeous white shirt that I'm wearing and I love it. Guys, I'm in Camden. Oh, there's a Mustang behind me. Let me tell you the experience of this town. I'm gonna eat this because I'm a little bit cranky. Not gonna lie. Maybe two hours. I have just been house exploring. These houses are next level. I was there with my music walking around the area. This guy comes out of this house and he's like 30 years old and he starts talking to me, but I can't hear him because my music is up. Like, bro, you can hear my music. Like, he was just frowning at me and I just felt really unloved. In my mind, I've always thought that country people are the nicest people on the planet. I'm a little bit depressed and sad now because like I look at all those houses and all those people and I've always dreamed of that life. Like there were literally basketball stands like, on the side of the road and like utes as far as the eye can see. And if anyone doesn't know me, I'm obsessed with utes. I think they're the hottest car. Like I want a ute for myself. Like I love utes. There's a guy in his ute as we speak parking and he just looked at me, but he's not my type. I really want a man from this area and I don't know how I'm gonna get it. It's so united here and I love it. It's lovely lady at the light was like oh I don't know if we should cross because this girl from the opposite side of the road crosses when the the crossing didn't go green and she was like should we cross and, and everyone was like we're crossing and then the, the guy was in his car at the lights with his window down he goes yeah go 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 it was like a whole community event just for crossing the road like oh my god it's a real mullet boy whoa let's try this orange thing it's all right Another you. That's a ram. Where do these people get the money from? Like, they don't they work on the farms? I'm so confused. Everyone has the richest cars here. They're so wealthy here, but it's like the middle of... Is he carrying a guitar? He's carrying a guitar. He's gonna bust. Oh my god, he's gonna sing. Stop. I wonder what country town I'm gonna do next. If you're from New South Wales, please comment down below nice country town. Bye bye Camden. Something tells me a gorgeous romance story will come from this place. 